Hello, sorry for disturbing you. Your house is gorgeous. Um, I'm just really- sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but are you the guy from TikTok? Yes, I am, yeah. No <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Hey, why don't you come inside? I'll show you what I do for a living. Uh, all right, okay, right now? Yeah, sure. Okay. You're not gonna believe this. I just knocked on that guy's door. Do you have the gear on you? Because he's gonna let us do an entire home tour. He has the time. His house looks phenomenal. I don't even know what he does yet. He said he wants to show us. I don't know, it seems a little bit weird, but you know what? We're gonna go with this. I think it's good. There's a lot of like hidden little Versace things in this house. Might be some sort of Versace palace. All right, Andy, so I just literally knocked on your door. I've never had anybody, I mean, one person actually invited me inside on the spot, but you literally just happen to have the time to let me inside and your house is just perfectly staged for this. Like, is this, first of all, hold up. What do you do for a living? So to start with, I am a realtor. Okay. And I'm an investor as well. Got you. So it just seems to be my day off. I usually see your TikTok videos. And yeah, really. Very popular on TikTok. I <laughs> so as soon as I saw, I was like, wait, I know him from somewhere. Yeah. But then I was like, is it the guy from TikTok? That's why I asked you. What do you invest in? So basically I invest in real estate because that's what I buy and sell. Got and you, that I makes sense. In. Uh, yeah. I believe real estate is the safest investment. Tell me about your bar here. So this is the bar I put together. Uh, obviously it's the favorite spot on my house. So. <laughs> yeah, you do really like scotch. Yeah. <laughs> we can awesome. maybe have a shot after we're done the video. Sounds sure. like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you at your core? What are your core beliefs? So I truly believe that you should be a genuine and nice human being first to start yeah. with. I have another question for you. So you, you're in investments in, in real estate investments and you, and you sell real estate. Yeah. What did you study? So I did aircraft engineering to start. What? With. Yeah. That's amazing. But, that's uh, so random too. Yeah, I know. But uh, that's not what I wanted to do, to be honest. I always wanted to have my own business, have my own hours, right? Yeah. So my own hours, do something self-employed pretty much. Another part of my house, which I spend most of my time is my office. Most of the work takes place here. When I'm working from home, I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is my spot where I work out from. <laughs> this is a beautiful office, man. I guess COVID, like having you work from home right now is absolutely. kind of a nice thing, right? Like, no, absolutely. I was young, pretty much. When you're young, you know you don't know much. Yeah. yeah. I just thought it was really cool about to know about aircrafts, to learn about aircrafts. Mm -hmm. When I was in the program, I, I thought this is not me. Yeah, okay. At what point did you realize that that was just not for you? Uh, probably I'd say in my second year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But it didn't actually pertain to your success today? No, it didn't. Wow, interesting. Yeah. See, that, things like that are really key because the people watching, they might be in school yeah. and they might be like, oh, I'm going to be doing this. But just because that's what you studied doesn't necessarily mean where that is where you'll find your success. For sure. Let me show you another uh, favorite part of my house, which is this powder room. It's all Versace wallpapers in here, chandelier. What? Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this mirror lights up. Oh my God, look at the little details in here. You could dim it, you could do whatever. Oh, that's for the okay. selfies, huh? Yeah, it's all in the details. So. Yeah, <laughs> yes it is, that's yeah. for sure. This is one of my favorite parts. Wow, that chandelier too. I like to take dumps, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> dumps in style. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at the Versace over the toilet too. What is your background? Where are you from? Are you born in Canada? No, I'm not. Uh, so I was born in India. Okay. My parents are from India as well. Okay. So they're the one who migrated here. And how old were you when you came here? Uh, I was probably 15. 15, wow. And if you don't mind me asking, how old are you now? I'm 29 now. Wow. <laughs> it seems like you did pretty well. I mean, yes. I, I, I think that you could inspire millions of people. Andy, tell me, you have a beautiful house here and yeah. you've clearly done something well and right. What was your journey up until now? I started young, I started working. I, do, I used to do two jobs when I was in school, saved up some money, started my own business. I used to be in import-export before I was in real estate, okay. before I got into real estate. And then from there, saved up some money. And then I, I got into flips. I got into flips of real estate. I flipped homes and everything. So what does flip mean for the audience? What, what so pretty you... much buy a, buy a house, yeah? renovate it, up, up or fixer pretty much mm -hmm. and then sell it right okay Make money okay and that's when i got into real estate and i'm like why don't i do buying and selling um rather than yeah. fixing up you'll just yes. buy them and sell them sell quicker them. you went from your school education which was aero engineering yeah. and then you went into house flipping 
That's a huge, like that's, there's such a difference there. How did you go from one to the other? When I realized that I'm not gonna proceed with my aircraft engineering, yeah. um, I started the import export business and that's right. when I saved some money up and that's when I bought my first fixer upper. These are all my shoe collections pretty much. Uh, wow. It has a motion sensor light. These are most of the shoes I have. That's um, awesome. I can tell you yeah. really like Versace. <laughs> yeah, I noticed there's a lot of Versace in this house. Like it's almost like kind of Versace Palace-esque. Uh, I, yeah, I do like Versace a lot. Yeah? Is that, that your favorite brand? brand? Yeah, I, I love the quality. Mm -hmm. uh, they do make good stuff. Okay. Yeah. So you wouldn't have put Louis Vuitton around your house. It had to be Versace. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What is something that you're passionate about at the moment? Anything that you're into or, you know, with all your downtime, is there something that you've kind of put your time into? Yeah, I love traveling. What's your favorite place that you've traveled to? Greece. Greece, really? Absolutely. Okay, why? Uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Breathtaking. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to Greece? I have not. Okay, it's definitely on my radar though. You need to go to Santorini, Greece. Santorini. Yeah. Got That's you. The best part in the world. This is actually the second person that I interviewed that said Greece is their favorite place to travel to. However, the other person was Greek, so I was like, ah. So we put barnwood over here. Uh, yeah. It's also a custom thing as well. It looks very textured. I noticed it, like yeah. it's yeah, that's that's like real it's, barn wood. Yeah, right? it's very original, <laughs> right? So it's real barn wood we got from yeah. the you kind of match the table and yes, chairs yes. with that. These chairs look so impressive, and I noticed like even under the table, there's like yeah. the detail. As you see, I like wood a lot. I even put it up on the ceiling as well. So <laughs> yeah, the ceiling has some nice texture of wood up there as well. What is the square footage of this home? This is roughly about 5,000 square feet. 5,000. Yeah. It's a lot for 5,000, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's spacious. It's very it's, open. It's, it's very spacious. It's yeah. a five bedroom, five bath. Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah. So there's size our needs. Yeah, definitely. So let's check out the upstairs. Cool. Welcome to my master bedroom. This is my room. This is where I spend most of my time because I love sleeping. Mm -hmm. Although I only own 10% of it because I'm married now and my wife owns 90% of it. <laughs> and as you know, I love Versace. So obviously there has to be some Versace in the room. So this is the Versace perfume that I love. Yeah. What can I say about the master bed? This is where the business takes place, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Andy, what are three things you would tell your younger self if you could? I would say start in real estate as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing, stay humble and third thing keep working hard hard work pays off if anything we always learn from our mistakes always makes you a better person so i have no regrets i i don't want to change it i would not change anything okay wow that's yeah. a common answer for people i think yeah. that you know it's it seems to be a very important thing to learn from your mistakes absolutely yeah and, and you learn every day just don't stop learning keep learning every day <laughs> nice andy tell me what drove you to get where you are today so I wanted to be obviously successful to start with, yeah. obviously. I wanted a nice home, I wanted a nice lifestyle. I wanted to provide to my family, mm -hmm. I wanted to take care of their expenses. What challenges did you face getting where you are today? Maybe some lessons or hard things you went through? Yeah, one of the things I could remember is I didn't have much knowledge about stocks. Okay. And, uh, I, I bought stocks. Uh, that was my entire savings. What? And really? Went south. Uh, no way. Yeah. So I lost. Uh, that was in early twenties. I lost uh, my entire savings. So I had to really? start from scratch again. How did you come back from that loss? Kept working hard. Started saving again. So you didn't yeah. let that bring you down. No. Start from scratch again. You make mistakes. You gotta. You gotta pay for it. And you're mm -hmm. the one who has to be. You hold liable, right? You're mm -hmm. the one who's liable for it. So. Follow your dreams. If you're new to a country or if you've just moved somewhere, if I could do it, anyone can do it. Just do what you have to do. Just keep grinding. You gotta grind to shine, so keep mm -hmm. grinding. Again, really appreciate you letting me inside and no uh, showing your whole home. No problem. Now you, you've drained me out, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I need to meditate. You know? <laughs> meditate, <laughs> sleep, yeah, okay. All right, well, uh, thanks again. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for coming by. You, you wanna warm it up? You sure? It doesn't matter. People, spend, people buy cold coffee. <laughs> Another successful home tour. I cannot believe that Andy let us in on the fly like that. I'm so glad we had all of our gear ready to go. Honestly, that home was wicked. All that cool Versace designs and Andy was such a cool guy. He had such good advice. He told us all to stay humble, keep working, be focused, true to yourself, and you can get whatever you desire. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Van Campen. I'm very popular on TikTok where I ask the question that we all want to know. What do you do for a living?